Hello, Sal Bonavita here. In this video, I will show you how to develop and practice Raschiados. The Soliatus that you just heard was designed as a tutorial, which I'll go through in a moment, and also as a reference daily practice routine. If you go through all these things every day, play the piece every day, you'll be covering just about every Raschiato pattern that I can think of anyway. So uh, that's the main purpose of that uh, little introduction. Download the PDF and follow along because I'll be going through the Soliatus with, a, uh, uh, with the music down the bottom of the screen and I'll be playing each line normal speed and then slow speed and then go on to the next line until we get through it. After that, I'll be explaining these individual uh, Raschiato patterns in detail. In the description, I will also put timestamps so that you can jump around uh, forward and backwards through the video and go to wherever you want. First of all, I'll just give a brief explanation of the uh, Soliatus Compass. Then I'll go through the tutorial piece and then I will explain the individual Raschiados uh, and maybe a summary at the end. Okay, no more talking, let's get started. Just a quick word about Soliatus before we begin. Um, I don't want to get too deeply into the, uh, you know, into the structure or, or or you know anything too deep the main thing you need to know is that each line in the music represents 12 beats the 12 beats represents the compass which is just a cycle of 12 beats it happens to be 12 beats so the compass is 12 beats with faruka it's four beats with tangos it's four beats in soliatis alegrias and uh, things like that, it's 12 beats. In this case, the compass starts on one, and it has standard accents, which are not always sort of stuck to, but the standard accents when you're learning it are on beats three, six, eight, 10, and 12, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, That's all we need to really talk about. Um, all right, so let's just play the thing. Let's just go through the first uh, compass. Line one measures one, two, four. First at normal speed. Lower. What we have here is the index finger striking down and up. On the upstroke, we're pulling off that E note on the uh, on the D string, like this. And then a gold pay. That's the index finger down with the gold pay. Now, the gold pay is just the A and M fingers hitting straight down onto the flesh of the tip of the finger at the same time as you're striking down. It's not easy to do when you first start, but it's just practice. So, first six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
on seven, we've got this F major seventh chord. Seven, eight, The second compass measures five to eight, first at normal speed. Now a bit slower. Here we've got, uh, the raschiata is A, M, I, and I up. A, M, I, and I. And gold pay on beat three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here we have the middle finger down. And a pull off here. Sorry. Uh, And then, just like the, the first compass ending. So once more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Compass three measures nine to twelve, first at normal speed. Uh, this compass uses the Raschiato with the pinky A, M, I, and I up. The pinky I designate as E, because I can. E A M I I. So it's like this. It's <laughs> one. One beat is and one. Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll talk about this one a bit later on, okay? Let's just get through these compasses. Compass 4 measures 13 to 16, first at normal speed. Measures 13, we're using the P and the M, the thumb and the middle finger throughout uh, compass four. In the case in the case of measure thirteen, we're counting in fours, which means that the accent is going to fall on a different digit. 
okay? We're actually using a kind of a triplet pattern because we're, we're only playing the M down and the thumb goes down and up, that represents three strokes. So we call it a triplet pattern, but we're counting in fours. And that means the accent on the beginning of the beat is going to fall on a different finger, like this. One, if you start with M down, one, two, three, four, and now the accent is not on the M, it's on the thumb down stroke. One, two, three, four. And now the accent is on the up stroke. One, two, three, four. So if you continue, you're going to change the accent from this to that to this, from that. So one, two, three, four. First, the accent is on the M. One, two, three, four. Then the accent is on the downstroke of the thumb. One, two, three, four. And then the accent is on the upstroke for the count of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That has the same effect as if I was doing this. One, two, three. Whatever. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That's the effect I intended. Except I just want to use two fingers instead of three. See? That's all. I like it because it's a very strong ruschiato for a count of four. Okay. Measure 15. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Is a. Uh, is a standard triplet. Thumb up, middle down, thumb down, and thumb up. Measure 16, golpe first, and then three triplets in a row, followed by an upstroke of the thumb. I hope my explanation hasn't been too confusing, but let's just go through it again. One more time. Slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thank you. Compass five measures seventeen to twenty. Slower. One more time, counting slowly. One, two, three. Compass six measures twenty one to twenty four. Bit slower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With twelve beat compass flamenco forms. We finish on 10. You don't count the 11 and 12. 10 is the end of the thing. 
And that's it for the Solialis tutorial piece. At this stage, uh, I was going to go through each uh, Ruschiato individually, but we've, we've covered a lot of that in the actual tutorial piece. But I would like to, to uh, share my thoughts on a couple of things. Uh, and that is, first of all, continuous Ruschiatos. The three-finger Ruschiato, for example, the uh, AMI. Sorry, uh, yeah, A. A -M -I. As a continuous ruschiato, I bring the I up, like A, M, I, and I up. Or, or whatever. The, uh, that's okay as a, as a continuous ruschiato, but just doing the A, M, I, A, M, I. Continuously like that is a little bit hard on the fingers. You could do it, but as far as continuous ruschiatos go, this is not ideal. This is better. And why I'm mentioning that is that if you wanted to. Uh, practice a continuous ruschiato such as the A, M, I and the I up in order to uh, stop it sounding like you're counting one, da, 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 always putting the accent on that first stroke, the uh, A down. If you always practice it like that with the accent on the A on the first stroke of the four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you could fall into the trap as a habit of sounding, I don't know, it just doesn't sound continuous to me. You can always hear that one. So my two bobs worth, my two cents worth, is to practice it not in fours, That, but instead practice it as triplets in threes. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And that breaks up where the accent falls. The accent on the triplets is going to fall on a different finger each time. That's all I wanted to say. And the same thing with the uh, four finger Ruschiata, the pinky A, M, I. Again, r continuous Ruschiata is just with the downstrokes, doesn't sound that great. You could do it, but I don't like it. It's just a little bit hard. Um, the continuous ruschiato with those, uh, these fingers, would also include the upstroke of the index. And once again, to break up the accent always falling on the, on the first stroke, in this case it's five strokes, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, Again, break it up into fours, count it in fours. One, two, three, four. 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 I hope you get the idea. Uh, and once again, with triplets, with the triplet P up, middle down, and P down. If you want that accent to fall on the first stroke of the triplet, great. I do sometimes. It's good. But if you don't and you want a more continuous flowing sound without hearing the accents, once again, practice it in fours like I've done in the tutorial video in measure uh, measures 
in the third compass measure 9 to 12. Uh, counting it in fours breaks up that accent. The accent falls on a different, different stroke each time. And the other thing I wanted to say was the the rascados combined with golpe is a very common thing, so you need to practice that. And that's with the uh, E A M I I golpe. And the A M I thumb <laughs> I love that one lots of power there and basically the index finger on its own with the gold pay so don't forget the gold pay it's it's great so but as far as rascados go uh, you can't avoid the gold pay and it's something you don't want to avoid so practice your your gold piece as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I do have uh, another um, Ruschiato video. Check them out. I'll leave them in the uh, end screen and also in the card upstairs. Have a look up at the top of the screen and you'll see a link to those videos. Thank you very much. I enjoyed doing this and I'll see you next time.